We're Maddie and Em. We've been travelling around Australia since the start of 2021 in our four-wheel drive and rooftop tent. Our journey has taken us to some of the most beautiful locations this country has to offer, and we can't wait to share it all with you. Subscribe to follow our adventures, and we'll see you on the road. In this episode, we head up to Western Australia's Northwest Cape to explore the famous Ningaloo Reef. We camp at Osprey Bay and the town of Exmouth and watch an incredible sunset at Charles Knife Canyon. We then head to Turquoise Bay and find a hidden gem at the top of the Cape. Welcome to Exmouth. Have a go at this spot. Are we just in paradise or what? This place is unreal. Staying at the Osprey Bay campground here, which is right on the beach. And we've just had some brekkie, wandered over, and found ourselves in, I reckon, one of the most incredible places in Australia. This place is just next level. It's insane. I feel like I died and this is my heaven. <laughs> Yeah, so we're just gonna spend the day hanging out here really like it's Where else would you want to be? We're just gonna go snorkeling and go swimming. Just chill out under the beach umbrella This get up might look counterintuitive to some in Exmouth trackies, but little do you know the wind is freaking crazy. It's just a little chilly. No, it's not chilly. I don't know. I'm just my body's confused. Like my alpha half is really warm, <laughs> my full half is cold. It's beautiful in the sun, but as soon as you get in the shade and then that crazy wind picks up. Yeah, look. Uh, it was a really good time for us to come because there's not as many people but people don't come for a reason and that's because it's super, super windy this time. In November. In November. Late November. Anyway, yeah, we spent most of the day just swimming, didn't we? Swimming. And we barely picked up the camera after that. Right was... on the beach, reading, it was so nice. Yeah, so sorry, but also not sorry because <laughs> the chill out was amazing. <laughs> Seeing that turtle was so good. Like I've never swum with a turtle before, so I was really, really happy to see that. We're gonna cook and then we're gonna go watch the sunset. we got zero sleep. We've decided to head to the town of Exmouth down the other side in hopes that it's a little bit less windy. We don't think we can survive another night here. So fingers crossed. Hopefully we can go find something just as beautiful though. Morning. 
morning, Maddie. How Hello. You, how are you feeling after last night? I've been better. I slept in the car, so I pulled the clothes boxes out and I had my torso across the two back seats and then my legs sort of sticking through the front of the dark. I wish I'd got footage of that. Yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit wrecked. Aww. I've been in better form, but that's all right. But in saying that, we, uh, I think we did pretty well because this is our sort of fourth, fifth night of pretty high winds and we've stuck it out, so. I'm pretty in impressed with our tent, to be honest. Yeah, the Dachi has been insanely good structurally. It's just so noisy that you obviously can't sleep, but there's obviously, you know, there's no real way around that with a fold out canvas tent of that of that style so yeah it just it is what it is it's a bit disappointing because we would have loved to have spent a little bit more time here but it's all right we're gonna go round to um, Exmouth itself so we'll get out of the national park and off Cape Range National Park and um, and hopefully the winds won't be as bad there because they're, they're gusting at like 60 k's here it's just not it's not feasible Well, we're feeling a bit more energized now because we checked into the REC park at Exe and spent the Arvo by the pool, which has been nice and it's much less windy here. So yeah, look, don't let it put you off going around to Cape Range National Park. It is it is often windy there. And if you're in a rooftop tent, you're gonna get that flapping. So it's just the way it is. And we're gonna head back over there, aren't we though? Yeah, we're gonna head do back. Day trips. We're gonna do day trips back over there. So we just, we just wanna be able to sleep, so. There's masking tape over the tent holding the, f the waterproof fly down, which is always good fun. So now we're just going to go and check out Shot Hole Canyon and Charles Knife Canyon, which I've been very much looking forward to. So a bit of a cool drive through the middle of it and then uh, a little short walk up to the peak. So let's go check it out. We just pulled over to have a quick look at this lookout on the way up and uh, any good Land Cruiser owner is probably a little bit nervous at the sight of that. How do you feel about that, Emmy? Should I, should I save it? I want to. <laughs> For those who don't know, Land Cruiser handbrakes are average at best. So that was about as close as we were willing to get. <laughs> anyway, we want to see some more and get some, uh, get some drone shots, so. I'm gonna keep continu continuing on. Good morning, we've come back to the National Park today. Apparently you can't keep us away. How can you stay away from this? Turquoise Bay we're at this morning and some have said it's one of the best beaches in the country. We've and been here about five minutes and I think we already yeah, agree. <laughs> pretty sold on it. So yeah, I just can't wait to go for a swim. I'm honestly mind blown by this water. It looks incredible. We can already see fish from the shore without even swimming in. So yeah, I think we're in for a treat for snorkeling today. This place is pretty cool as well because there's two ends of the beaches and the uh, drift is strong enough that you can go from one end to the other um, without much effort, which is really nice and see the reef that way. So we're on the Bay Loop and 
that one that Em's talking about is called the Drift Loop. So there's two sort of spots here at Turquoise Bay that you can you can check out. everywhere <laughs> so good this place is amazing you couldn't keep us out of the water at turquoise bay for long after some lunch we jumped straight back in to find some more incredible marine life We had such an incredible day at Turquoise Bay today. We ended up snorkeling for like four hours, so we're pretty exhausted. But we've decided to make one more stop before we head back to the shipwreck Muldura. Babe, I can't remember the story. Do you want to? Yeah, so the SS Muldura, apparently it was a cattle ship that got shipwrecked off the coast here in a cyclone back in 1907. They got lost in the cyclone and they saved everybody on board human wise, but Apparently a lot of not the cows. A lot of cows died. So it's not low tide right now, but it's close enough. So we're hoping we'll be able to see it um, from the shore, and we're going to chuck the drone up and see what we can find. So you can definitely see the shipwreck from the shore here. It's only a few hundred meters out, and it's probably three, four hours before high tide. So we're somewhere in the middle. You're gonna get probably better shots of it if you come right on low tide, but yeah, it looks pretty good. So we'll send the drone up, and have a look. In our next episode, we leave the coast and head towards the red dirt and heat of the Pilbara. We explore Karajini National Park 
where we find some amazing outback camping locations and check out some incredible gorges, including one that earns a name for itself as a journey to the centre of the earth. This has us rock scrambling and climbing between gorge walls to reach one of the most stunning waterholes we've come across. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in our next episode.